What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mod Squad Network. We are going to be reviewing the movie Fast X today. Um, myself and Steve here have already seen it. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think we have different in opinions on the movie. <laughs> this movie you know, I, I mean, we, we might, we might not. I think this movie is absolutely recalculous in like the best ways. Like, right. I I loved this movie up until the last 15 minutes, and then I was like, get the F out of here, get the F out of here, get the F out of here, get the oh, no. F out of here. Oh, no, it, just like any Fast and Furious movie past, like, Tokyo Drift or uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, everything is just ridiculous. They're, sure, they you, suspend you, the, the disbelief of actual reality. Right, I mean, or the when you of go actual reality, right? Like, uh, and honestly, I'm I'm gonna be straight up. I think I was out of the Fast and Furious movies by at five. I think I seen up to five, maybe six, but I don't think I seen seven, eight, or nine. Okay. Um, oh wow! So you just went into this blind with all new characters being introduced. Let alone the fact they mentioned characters that were introduced that you have no idea who they are. Like Mr. Nobody. You have yeah. no idea who Mr. Nobody is. I did not. But, you know, That's throughout Kurt the course Russell. of the... That's Kurt Russell, by the way. Well, they did show a picture of him. I did yeah, see Yeah, why? Do you can't... Was, yeah. I don't know if you could tell naturally if it was Kurt Russell or not. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was Kurt Russell. Um, I am... But, like I said, I, uh, I caught on, you know... It's pretty easy to catch on in the movie um, what's going on. It's not like um, it's it's the tenth they, in the series. They, they give but, you enough of a flashback, like yeah. when they introduce when they introduce Sway or Sparrow or whatever Charlie Sterone's character's name is. Uh, they're oh, the last time I saw you, and then it flashes back to Fate of the Furious, where he kills yeah. the wife and and or the the mother of the child and all this malarkey. And this this film is so into. I don't know why they decided to make Rita Moreno the grandmother. She's old mm -hmm. enough to just be Vin Diesel's mother. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't loved know. Rita. I loved Rita Moreno in it. I think they make Tyrese too much of a fool. I I feel like the scene where they're saying grace and he's like eating like that. It's 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 not needed. It, yeah, but I it still felt like him. Like I remember him. Like I said, I didn't see seven. Uh, seven sure, eight, I or understand. Nine. And I, I, I remember him I, from two. Too fast, too furious. To where that he he it felt like the same character. It felt like to me, and that's like and that's and that's kind of the problem I have is they have given other characters actual growth. The, the, that being you. said, as ridiculous as that being said for a Fast and the Furious film, uh, other characters, Ludacris, the British chick, they've gotten growth. They've they've grown as characters. Like you've learned new things about them. Roman is still Roman. Like I, some people I, don't change, man. Some people just don't change. I guess. I don't know, man. This movie is ridiculous. Uh, uh, yeah. Aquam Aquaman is the bad guy. Oh, Aquaman is the bad guy, but Peacemaker is a good guy. Um, let's see. Uh, Who it's else just Groot. Groot is Groot's a good a guy. Good guy. A, yeah. It's true. We got it. We got someone. Captain from Marvel's a good guy. We got, we got someone from Dungeons and Dragons in there. Uh, you got Jack Ryan, uh, or, or what is his name? Falcon in, uh, mm -hmm. in Justice League, uh, or Titans. Hulk. Hawk. Hawk. It's Hawk. Hawk. Yeah. Which that was a great addition to this, to this movie. Oh, I really like liked I, him. And like I said, I fell off basically right where this picked up. You know what I mean? I, I, I fell off after Rio on the fast and furious franchise. So this, this picking up basically from that movie, I felt right at home with it. I carry, I fo I followed through pretty well. And let me, let me tell you, Jason Momoa, Aquaman, um, I thought kind of carried the movie. I enjoyed his character. He felt like a Joker esque type character, but super like he had everything planned out from the T. I'm not going to um, lie. I watched this whole movie going, how is this not Roman Reigns? 
how is this not Roman Reigns? <laughs> like, you have John Cena in there already. Like, yeah. Roman, like, I just, I think Roman Reigns and Jason Momoa are just interchangeable. But that's, that's, if they have long black hair. That's How did you feel about it. Momoa's performance in this? Oh, I, kinda... I love, I love, I love him as a villain. Uh, I love the, the, the series as a whole is great. How they can bring in villains, and then you you have John Cena who came in the last movie as a villain, and as soon as they announced in like the trailer he was the villain, I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what they do to make him a good guy. Right. No, I get you it. You know, you know what I mean. And like Jason, Jason Statham started as a bad guy, now he's a good guy. Well, Is he though? He's, he's, he's an in betweener. <laughs> no, yeah. I'd say he say if you have to if he if he had to pick sides. He's going to pick Dom and all of them over Jason Momoa because there's essentially no one that that I feel Jason Momoa would be able to get to with Jason Statham because his mom, Helen Miram, is very smart in what she does. Like she yes. raised two criminals like so I don't think anyone would be smart enough to get anyone go after them. I do love the whole tactics uh, at the beginning with Charlie Theron. And how she had all of the guards on him. Oh. And then then I got your daughter. I got your wife. I got this. Yeah. And then he kills that one guy. He goes, him? Nothing. Not even a cat. Yeah, I love it. Like, he's, you can see the crazy in him. But you can also see the smarts that he has. The, the strategic. Planning. Just the strategics yeah. in his head. Oh, yeah, sure. Total strategic. What I do you guys want to do? What? Yeah. Bomb oh. the Vatican. Come I'll do guys. it, but you guys are going to hell. I'll do it, but you guys are going to hell. <laughs> yeah, oh, great. And, just, and that's so great. The two, the two IT guys he have, and then the scene where he's painting the toenail, and, yeah. and he's talking, and then they're just they're dead, and their eyes are just taped open. <laughs> yeah, and I love. Oh my god! So the theater that I went to was like half filled. I was the only person laughing at what were legitimate jokes. <laughs> like, all right, you guys sit here, drink your pina colada or drink your margarita and let those dry. Someone will be here to bury you soon. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, like he's telling them, enjoy yourself. Let those dry. But I know you are dead. Right. And <laughs> like, just so and just so anybody knows out there or hasn't figured it out, there's going to be spoilers in this um, because we've already talked about a little bit of spoilers. But yeah. How did you like the twist at the end? Did you see that coming? I I didn't see it coming, but I also didn't care. Okay. I, I kind of I he he was already playing an asshole. So even after the like, oh, you like I under, like like I understand now. Like as far as heel turns and twists go, it takes a lot to really surprise me. So when you have a guy that that from the get already already seemed like like he was just playing the douche, I mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't expect it. And with that being said, with that being said that we are talking about spoilers, I will say no one is dead in the Fast and the Furious movies Ever. until you <laughs> see until you see a body until you see a body in a casket and the casket is closed. And the casket was in the ground and they're like, everyone is crying. Oh my God. Because yeah. spoiler alert within the last 15 minutes of the movie, John Cena quote unquote sacrifices himself. I don't yeah. think he's dead. There's no way you're bringing John Cena in for nope. two movies when he is purely becoming a Hollywood star. Uh, you have Jack Ryan, AKA Hawk uh, being the one reacher that, reacher. Not, sorry, Jack, yeah. Jack reacher. Um, yeah, that's right. Jim, Jim Krasinski is Jack Ryan, right. uh, Jack Reacher, um, bombing the plane. And then you have ludicrous Tyrese and the British chick whose name I can't remember all running for cars. So obviously the back gets open, the cars get dropped out right before the plane goes. Uh, the movie ends. I was la I had to cover my mouth so many times in this movie to keep myself from just laughing out loud. <laughs> and this is one of those moments. You have two gas tanks on 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 the the open ends of of a dam. He's mm -hmm. on a dam. <clears throat> oh, you didn't take away my car. Boom. Oh, Jesus. Flies off a dam, 
drives down a dam, lands in a river. Him and his son are in front of this dam. All of these bombs are about to go off. Boom. Credits. Boom. Yeah, I, I did not like the end, yeah. No, no, no. And that's, no, no. That's that's not even the end. That's not even the end. Because then it goes to Charlie Theron mm. and Michelle Rodriguez walking through the Antarctic. And a submarine comes up. And who opens the hatch on the submarine? But Giselle, who died Gadot, in like yeah. Fast and the Furious Six. <laughs> yeah. she, she died before that, I think. Yeah, it, it was like four or five or six. It was yeah. somewhere in between there. She's been dead for a, for a hot minute, and we, now we have Wonder Woman back in the movie. Yeah. Um, which, which, by the way, my wife let out an audible yell when when that reveal was that happened. Like she was like, "Yes." <laughs> <laughs> um, did you stay for the mid credit scene? I did stay for the mid credit scene. Yes. In which, in which we now have the return of Hobbs. Yep. Yes. Which the is, rock, which is cool. Rock is back, which is great because I did as much as they want to feud with each other. I love the rock being yeah. in and the, the black Adam. We have another superhero. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's cool because like, I like how they set it up too. Jason Momoa sent him a message saying, you know, I'm making like Toretto's life hell, but he wasn't the one that pulled the trigger. Yeah, and that's, you, it, that's it you. It does the flashback and boom, so I'm coming after you. So Bring I think bitch. all next movie is going to be basically Hobbs and 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 stuff. So it's going to be hope. it's I hope it's going to be really cool. I really liked Hobbs and Shaw. I really liked I really I did liked too. that one. I did too. Um, and that and that and that's the thing is Hobbs and Shaw in its own right sets up for a different bad guy of a completely different nature. And I might have to rewatch it because that in its own right might be Jason Momoa. That might yeah, be the whole setup for that as well. I have to rewatch yeah. Hobbs and Shaw. I need to rewatch yeah. that anyways. It's such a good yeah. I need to go ahead and catch up on all of them. Like I may start from like after Too Fast, Too Furious, because I've seen every the you first can three skip movies. skip Tokyo Drift, I'd say. I'd say you can yeah, skip, yeah, we'll skip Tokyo those. Drift. Yeah, yeah, I've Han, seen the Han, first one. Han blows up in a car. Yeah, and Vin I've seen Diesel the first one, Tokyo right Drift, Drift, and uh, Too Fast, Too Furious, tons of times. You just switched I, them. It goes Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, Tokyo Drift. I was just That's why it's called I've Too seen. Fast, Too Furious, the second movie. I think Tokyo Drift was before Too Fast, Too Furious, but I may could I could be wrong. In the storyline, sure. When it came out theatrically, no. Okay, I got. I you. worked at a movie theater when both of these films <laughs> came out. You're right. I forget who I'm talking to. Oh. That's right. You're forgetting. You're talking to a guy that has a podcast <laughs> purely talking about movies. So, I think the biggest um, holding of my disbelief happened with the um, Indiana Jones bomb. Ball rolling Vatican down. with the crane, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, where he, he he had to flip. He not only did he had to hurry, jump the um bridge, hit the crane, and keep going to where the crane perfectly timed turned around and hit the ball into the water. This is a this is a video game mechanic. This is a mechanic they would have in a video game. Yeah, where if it, you didn't have it, the video the the Vatican would blow up, and then you'd have to restart at your save point going back yeah. down. I think that is more disbelievable than the two helicopters, in my opinion. Sure, sure. That that him him getting the chick to to get on the car to tap off the bomb. Mm -hmm. I which I feel they've already done that in a movie. Probably. And, and let uh, alone probably. in a Fast and the Furious movie. <laughs> They don't realize but, they're just recycling their bits. Right. All right. So let's go ahead and rate it. Kind of. Um, uh, what would movie, you rate this movie this out of movie, ten? It's so silly. I'd say it's like a seven point five. I'd give it an eight. I'd give it an eight because I was thoroughly entertained. Even though there's, I'm watching this going, okay, bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I was thoroughly it, entertained. entertained. Sure. Entertained. I'm, I'm thoroughly entertained. Yeah. Great fight sequences. Yeah. Great fight. And the, I'm watching it. I'm like, dude, this cast is freaking unbelievable. I mean, the cast in these movies are freaking great. But yeah, you're right. I'm bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. But I'm entertained by the bullshit. So hundred um, percent. Yeah. So I, I give it an eight. So I, I'd say I I'd say if you like the Fast and the Furious movies uh, and you want to check it out in the theater, definitely go check it out. Uh, if you think these movies are utter bullshit and you'd rather watch it at home, don't go in the theater because you're not going to enjoy it as much. 
Exactly. All right, so that's our review of uh, Fast X. Um, make sure uh, you check out all the stations on the Mod Squad Network. Check out um, Steve's channel, which is the last podcast you'd want. And uh, so for me, check out Back to the Retro Review. And uh, that's about it. All right, so for Steve, I am Kevin saying. Thank you for being a friend.